a breathtaking plunge for stock markets. The Dow drops by 800 points before making a partial comeback. Investors fearing the credit crisis will reach all the way around the world. Wall Street, seven was an unlucky number. As the front page of a local newspaper shouts, the Dow lost 777 points. That is the worst drop in one day in U.S. history. The Dow's roller coaster ride can seem scary without a close up look at the real problem. The problem is that banks are lending at a slow pace right now. Although, after Lehman Brothers fell and the government bailed out American International Group, banks weren't lending at all. Okay, so how do you measure if banks are lending or not? You may not hear this on the nightly newscasts, but financial journalists have been consulting something called the TED spread. T stands for Treasury Bill, and ED stands for Euro Dollar Contracts. The TED spread measures the price difference between U.S. Treasury Bill rate and Euro Dollar rate, based on a three-month time span. Banks make loans to each other every day. The TED spread just tries to figure out if the risks of defaults on these loans is increasing. So if TED sees that banks are willing to lend, then the lower the number on the TED spread. But if he sees that banks are not willing to lend, then the higher the number on the TED spread. Typically, the TED spread is around 1%. On September 15, the day after Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy, the TED spread shot up to 2.01%. By October 10, the TED spread had hit 4.6, meaning banks were in panic mode and were keeping whatever cash they had on hand. Today, the TED spread seems to be going down, but it is still at an elevated percentage. But some journalists have been skeptical if they should even call what is happening a crisis. And I don't think they've made the case yet that there's a crisis. You know, the, the stock market is in a deep dive. Goldman Sachs stock has gone up 50% in the last 10 days. Uh, it was on its way down the day this decision was made. And they didn't question the premise. Is this the only way to do this? Why aren't you making a market solution to this? Show us the evidence of exactly what's going wrong here. The TED spread, which is a measure, a uh, technical measure of the market, isn't even at a record level, although it is one that it should cause some concern. Did you hear that bit about the TED spread? Barron's cover story for this week was pretty sunny. Gene Epstein made the case that the saviors of the economy were cheap oil, strong exports, and inventory building. Epstein made a big prediction, too, writing, If I'm right, then the only quarter of contraction this time around, barring revisions, will have been 2007's fourth, in which GDP fell at an annualized 0.2%. The economy won't be great through the end of 2009, but it should do far better than the gloom mongers expect. So even though media reports can feel like this when the Dow drops, whatever money you may need for the next five years, please take it out of the stock market right now, this week. I do not believe that you should risk those assets in the stock market. Don't forget that this malaise is about credit. And who better to ask about credit than Ted? For the Business and Media Institute, this has been the BizFlog.